Oh yeah, that's a beautiful snook right there. So what's going on guys? Welcome back here to another video. As you can see, we're on the water here. We actually just made it out to one of these islands out here in Sanibel, but the wind is freaking blowing. So I think we might just make a move. I'm gonna head over to another spot here, which is a little more protected from the wind um, because it's actually blowing. Uh, the wind is actually going like 15, 20 miles per hour, a lot more than what goes on the forecast. So I don't think I want to launch in here. I gotta, I gotta go all the way down to those islands, all the way out there in the back. So it's gonna be a pretty brutal ride through all this stretch. It's about a mile stretch. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out there and do all that. So I will go ahead and move spots, and then I'll get you guys on the other spot. All right, guys, so we just made it to the other spot. As you can see, this place is much more calmer when it comes to the wind. There is absolutely no wind at all. The nice little calm estuary back here. So it is protected from the wind. It leads out to a bay, but it'll be nice because it's on the other side of the wind. You see all that? So it'll be really, really nice. So can't wait to get out there. Um, I'm gonna drop the kayak in, get out, and um, hopefully we catch some fish. So stay tuned, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So what's going on? Just launched out here, and. We are heading out. As you can see, this place is much calmer. No wind, basically at all, so it makes it for a nice little paddle. We are going out to a bay out there, which it does have a, some wind, but it's kind of protected because the wind is blowing to the south, and um, this bay is gonna be protected by the all these mangroves first, and then afterwards it opens up, but um, we're gonna be fishing pretty close to the bay, to the mangrove side, so it's not gonna be too bad. So today, I want to, ooh, we had a fish pop right there. I actually, I have to go ahead and make a couple casts here. Fish on, right there. Fish on. There you go. It's my first fish on these new baits. Look at that. I knew this bait was gonna be perfect for back here. First snook on the little red rum baits. Check it out. Red rum bait, nice little snook. Yeah. Let's go. All right, so what I was gonna tell you guys is, I was gonna talk to you guys about these new baits. All right, so I wanted to talk to you guys about these new baits. These are pretty cool and awesome baits by a company called Red Rum. They reached out to me. They reached out to me and sent me a bunch of baits here to try out in South Florida. The company's based out of California. So it's actually pretty cool trying these baits out here. As you can see, they could be rigged in a different variety of way. This one is rigged like in a tube style with some rattles, which we'll definitely be using this out there in the flats. Um, we got the weedless ones. There's some more weedless ones in here. There's also some smaller profile ones just like those. So it is pretty cool. Um, I actually digging these baits. I think um, they'll do great out here. So can't wait, I got an assortment of colors, some extra jigs here too. And we're gonna go ahead and try these baits out. Um, I got two of them rigged up. I got one of the weedless ones, which is this one right here. Very small little profile. Perfect for these micro snooks out here. So I'm gonna be trying this one out. And then I also have the one with the, uh, the little jig on. 
and that's i'm gonna try that out in some deeper pockets and uh maybe out in the flat so let's get it let's see how they do All right guys, so as you can see, it is a very windy day. I just popped this nice little snook off that little spot there. It's a beautiful little snook. Let's take a quick picture of it. I'll send it on its way. Is it ready to go? Look at that. Swim fast, the one. We actually, that snook came out of the little swim bait here. We're gonna try to replicate exactly that with the uh, red rum bait. to get out of here it's like stuck in the sand here all right here we go so as you can see it's super rough out there as the water's coming into this creek system fish are stacked up in this little corner here that's exactly where that snook hit so let's try to pop another bait in there see if we catch something else Fish on. <laughs> that was a really nice snook on the red rum bait. Oh man. Alright. Oh, got a big tangle here. Alright guys, so quick little update here. We have moved back into the um creek system here. It was way too rough out there. I did get two snooks. Um actually I got one, another one hooked up. But it was just too rough just staying in the position out there in the current i tried to get off on the bank that didn't work i wasn't able to make the right cast so i got back in the kayak i headed back in here the tide is a little bit higher now so we're going to try to work some of these mangroves like we were earlier today and hopefully catch some more fish we got two landed snooks so far one other one that we missed which was a pretty nice one i'm pretty bummed about that one but hopefully we can catch some more of this creek system here Oh yeah, that's a beautiful snook right there. Look at that thing. Oh, 
Oh, holy shit. Woo. Ah. All right, guys, check it out. Look at this. Big old river snook right here, creek snook. Look at that. Came off of the, where is she? He tore it up, but look at that. Little red rum bait. Beautiful. Look at that thing. Oh, and there's more, and there's more popping. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and release her. As you can see, it looks like she had something going on in her gills and she's recovering, so let's go ahead and put her back on the water. Look at that. Oh, she is ready to go. Woo. All right, guys, that was pretty insane. There's more fish popping under there, so I'm gonna go back in there and try to see if we can catch another one. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just pulled out of the water here. What a crazy day it was. The weather was pretty rough in terms of wind. The wind was definitely blowing at least 20 knots and it made it difficult to fish anywhere that I wanted to fish. So basically we stayed within a creek system, um, a nice little estuary, and we were able to find some snooks. That was the goal for today, catch some snooks on those new red rum baits. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and check those out. They are absolutely awesome. I caught all my snooks today with the exception of one on that bait. And I did catch a pretty nice big one, like a 25, 26 inch snook on that bait. So it definitely works. It is actually a very nice bait fish imitation. There's different ways that you can basically use them. So it's very versatile and it comes in a variety of colors. So make sure you go ahead and uh, check them out. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description below. And like I said, it was a great day out there. We were only out there for about four hours. Um, definitely grind it out though. It was tough and we were able to get some fish, but definitely we worked for it. So thank you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and um, give the kayak a nice little wash now. It definitely needs it. Make sure to check out all my other videos, like this video, share, and as always, make sure to subscribe if you haven't so. Stay tuned for more videos coming up and thank you guys. I'll see you on the next one.